Today we're going to make a modern drink, the Scotch Lodge. For this drink, you're going to need a rocks glass, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a julep strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses smoky scotch, chinar, sweet vermouth, cherry liqueur, orange bitters, and an orange peel for garnish. This drink was created by Tommy Cluse, a whiskey expert and Portland area bartender. But to tell its story, we have to start with another drink that was created around 2011 called the Black Lodge. This predecessor was identical, except that its base spirit was overproof rye instead of smoky scotch. The Black Lodge was named after the fever dream netherworld frequented by Agent Cooper in Twin Peaks. It's a little like a bowl of RDA on steroids. Clues put the drink on his menu, and it was an instant hit, so much so that it soon became a problem. At that time, rye whiskey, particularly overproof rye, was hard to keep in stock. Rye was a spirit that languished in obscurity for decades after Prohibition, so the supply of it was relatively low. Then in the late 2000s, craft bartenders started clamoring for it, but since it takes several years to mature, rye producers couldn't keep up with the demand. This led Clues to have to pull the Black Lodge from the menu, but he loved the flavors and didn't want to give it up. He soon started using the Black Lodge template as a vehicle for scotch whiskey. He played around with a lot of Isla whiskeys, but landed on Beaumont as his preferred scotch. So he tweaked the name to reflect the new recipe, and the Scotch Lodge was born. The drink is intended to be made with Punta Mess, a particular sweet vermouth that has a touch of bitterness to it. If you don't have Punta Mess, try making it with the sweet vermouth you do have, and maybe add an extra bar spoon of Chinar to help approximate the bitterness. As for the cherry liqueur, feel free to use your favorite, but Clouse recommends using Combier Rouge, and I concur. It's become my go-to cherry liqueur. I tried this drink with several different peated scotches. I landed on Ben Ramach Peat Smoke. It's not an Isla, but a smoky Speyside. The modern idea of Speyside is anything but smoky. Ben Ramach usually has some degree of smokiness in their drams, but the peat smoke expression is up there with the big smoldering campfire scotches except that it has a comparatively sweet and mellow body, which helps flesh out the thick, smoky spine of the spirit. Use your favorite smoky scotch, because any way you slice it, the Scotch Lodge does not disappoint. I found the drink in an issue of Imbibe, and it instantly became one of my favorites. It strikes the most amazing balance between the sweet, the bitter, and the smoky. And believe me, Diane, it makes for one damn fine cup of whiskey. Let's start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next, we're gonna measure an ounce and a half of scotch. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of chinar. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of cherry liqueur. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of sweet vermouth. Add that to the mixing glass. Then hit it with a dash of orange bitters. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your rocks glass. Drop in a large hunk of ice and strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled rocks glass. Cut a wide swath of orange peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils of your orange twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there you have it, Diane. The lodge you'd rather end up in. The Scotch Lodge. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.